local buckling. So during local instability or local buckling, individual parts are plate elements of a cross section buckle without overall buckling of the column. So here the plate elements are the local parts of the section buckles without the overall buckling of the member. So overall member will not buckle but some part will buckle. So here we can see in these figures. So here in the first and the last figure there is a buckling, local buckling of flanges and in the middle figure there is buckling of steel tube. The local buckling should never be allowed before the overall buckling. So first the column should buckle about the between the spores and then it can buckle at the local points. So the overall buckling should occur before the local buckling. The local buckling is controlled by the slenderness ratio lambda is equal to B over T width over thickness ratio. So for unstiffened flanges, what are these unstiffened flanges? So an unstiffened element is a projecting piece with one free edge parallel to the direction of compressive force. So here if we see in this figure, so this portion, this has one free end and the other connected end. And this free end is parallel to the compressive force. So this portion is termed as unstiffened element or in case of W section it is unstiffened flange. So for unstiffened flanges B is equal to half width of flange BF over 2 means this is total BF and this much will be equal to BF by 2. So the B will be equal to BF by 2 and T is the thickness so slenderness ratio will become BF over 2TF and this slenderness ratio will control the local buckling and for stiffened webs so stiffened web is a web or is an element which is supported along its two edges parallel to the direction of force. So if we see this web, so it is connected at this point as well as at this point. So both the edges are connected and these edges are parallel to the applied force. So the parallel edges to the applied force or the applied compressive force are connected so we can term it as stiffened element. So in case of stiffened element or stiffened web of W section, H is the width of web. So this width or B will be equal to H and TW is the thickness of the web, the thickness of this web TW. So the slenderness ratio will become B over T will become H over TW. So this slenderness ratio will go on the local buckling of web. In case of flanges or any part which is connected on one side and free on the other side, so it will be termed as unstiffened. So we need to consider this much length. Whatsoever is this B and its thickness T. So this will be the lambda and this lambda will go on to control the local buckling. And in case of stiffened elements which are connected on both sides, so we need to consider this distance between the two edges which are connected. That will be equal to B and its thickness T. So it will give us the slenderness ratio. And this slenderness ratio will go on the local buckling. Higher the slenderness ratio, more chances of local buckling. So to avoid the local buckling, we need to reduce this slenderness ratio.